So diffusion um, in terms of cells is, is new into the Key Stage 3 programme of study and uh, students need to know about it being particles moving from an area of high concentration to low concentration and across a membrane. So there's going to be three different ways that we're going to demonstrate this. So one way of demonstrating particles moving from a high concentration to a low concentration is by rehydrating raisins. Obviously raisins are dehydrated grapes and so they'd usually appear like this in a packet. If they're put in water for even just a couple of hours you can see straight away that there's a change. If we compare one that's been in water for about two hours compared to one that's just out of the packet, you can see the difference. So the water is moved across the membrane of the outside of the raisin to the inside. So another way of modelling this is by using flower rehydration beads, and they're just these tiny see-through beads that you can get from florists or even on the internet. Um, once they go into water, into a beaker of water, they rehydrate relatively quickly within a few minutes. So the flower rehydration balls uh, have rehydrated and so they're now a much larger size than before. These work really well as a model of cells and diffusion as well if we get a solution of potassium permanganate crystals. Because when these, these are poured, the solutions are poured into a beaker containing the rehydration balls and left for even just a few minutes we can see that a lot of the colour is diffused across into the centre of the balls. So this is the third example of being able to demonstrate diffusion across cells and this is a way to show it over a bit of a slower period of time um, and a bit more obviously with colour. Um, it's just petri dishes with gelatin inside and you can either cut a straight line across or around the outside to model uh, it surrounding a cell. Um, so just use a scalpel and then forceps to pull uh, the gelatin out. So there's two ways of doing this, either to cut a straight line across slightly angled, so to create a trench and then in the other direction. And then just try and carefully remove the centre with forceps. Alternatively, you can use a scalpel to cut around the outside, leaving a circle of the gelatin on the inside. And again, carefully removing it with forceps. Uh, so the two different um, examples show different things, so with this one, with it being one single slit across, it could show the boundary between two cells and perhaps a blood vessel going in between. And then when there's the trench around the outside, this could model just one cell itself and the diffusion from the outside in. So with this one, it would take a little more food colouring to go around the outside.
So after several hours, you can see that the food colouring has spread across the gelatin from the slit that was in the middle and also from the outside trench into the model cell that we've created. This is a smart way to show diffusion in cells using raisins, food dye and flower rehydration balls relating to Unit 2 in Smart Science.